Heck yeah, hammer time, dude. Yeah, dude. Please give me speed. Yes, bro! With triple attack, though? So I'm pulling all my primals. This is not a good idea. I repeat, do not do this. You definitely want to be waiting for a 2x. Uh, but the right. pins allow you to guarantee three epic chests. Very good value, Immo, in my opinion. I was like, what do you, what is, what does pinning mean? What, is, what does this mean? After going to the information button over here, if you scroll down, it actually talks about pinned rarities, which I didn't know about. I don't know if this is new or if this is just something that was always there and I just never read the information tab before. It says, okay, so maybe just this one because it's, it's saying in select deck of fate events, you will be able to pin the rarity of a flipped card. Pinning a rarity means that if you flip a card of a lower rarity, your streak is not going to reset. However, if you flip a card of a higher rarity, your streak will be reset and the pinned rarity can be replaced with the higher rarity. I still have no idea what's going on. You can only pin rare and epic cards. That makes sense to me. If you flip a rare or epic and there are not enough cards of this rarity left to complete a streak, you won't be able to pin that rarity. You cannot change a pinned rarity until the streak is either completed or reset by flipping a card of higher rarity. So I don't know what pinning looks like, and I don't have any points right now, right? But what I'm intending to do is do a little bit of summoning right now because I I think I need more points. I don't know if I'm actually able to make the uh, Thor split soul and I'm, I'm there, I'm, it's, it's tough, right? Because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough shards to finish out the Fey Hammer Titan event. And, and I really want the five star soul on my alt account, I'm pretty much certain that I'm not going to have enough energy to even finish the uh, Odin uh, tournament, much less the Ice Golem tournament. So I'm probably just going to settle for the four star on that and and um, just wait for it to show up, for the five stars to show up in the shop and, and then spend 300 essences that way. Which, by the way, I didn't know this, but if you actually go, and this is, is this something that I initially remember? knew about in the beginning but i i've never used it so i forgot that it was even a thing but <laughs> this right here you can actually convert this to immortal uh, immortal essences so that's 27 right there what i've been doing and this is why it took me so long to get rotos's five and six star soul i was waiting to get the essences from the iron twins but we get 2000 here obviously sacred shards are like the highest currency so if you're saving just make sure that you're only pulling these sacred shards uh, unless you need champions or you're gunning for somebody uh what i'm going to start doing is keeping these as um currency for certain events like summon rush that's 500 points the deck of fates is going to be 2000 points primal 650 voids 325 ancient shards have 130 leveling up champions from this just takes way too long it takes such a long time to do it requires a lot of resources if you have a lot of brews and you just got the time and you have the champions to go ahead and do this this is totally fine doing but this is obviously going to be the fastest way to do it well let's just go ahead and pull some shards with all that information aside let's go ahead and pull an epic but we still got 2,000 points in and we get another one and there's another epic a little bit closer to mercy what i've been thinking about i, I was talking to somebody in the comments here uh, i was thinking about just like saving my shards for like a really long time something like a year maybe and just just kind of see um after 12 months like how many shards i have i don't know i'm still thinking about it i don't know how i'm going to initiate it or, or do or do it but it would be pretty cool to see you know um oh well look at that we're, we're popping some, some tens here some primal shards getting all these red epics i actually like live arena a little bit more knowing that i get primal shards from there because i i looked at my main account versus my my alt account where i really don't do live arena all that much and a lot of the primal courts that i've gotten were from doing live arena so uh, i might continue doing it and i'm sort of in the habit of doing it already and i asked you guys in the community post what kind of content you guys would like to see more of with me and a lot of you guys were saying that you wanted to see more live arena so i'm like okay well let me let me let me consider doing a little bit more live arena 
So I'm pulling all my primals. This is not a good idea. I repeat, do not do this. You definitely want to be waiting for a 2x, right? But I'm not expecting to pull a mythical anytime soon. It's going to be a super long time before I even get a, a hit mercy. I've, I'm probably like 100 in, right? I'm, I'm probably halfway to mercy at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I feel like 100 is just about where, where it's at. So let's go ahead and see where we're at with the primal or the, um, the deck of fades. We have 18 3. So I'm going to start off um, here. We got a rare. Do you want to pin rarity? Okay, this is what I was uh, talking about. Let me take myself off screen here because we have the opportunity for this here. And this is going to be the thumbnail. So pin rarities. All right. Now, do I want to pin this rarity? Um, do I want, uh, if you pin, flip a card, streak won't reset. If you flip an epic, the streak will be reset. Once you pin a rarity, you can't change it until your streak is complete. No, I'm not going to pin this. Let's pull this. Okay, now this I want to pin. Oh, uh, I don't want to pin that. I don't want to pin that. I saw the, the purple. So Slayer gear. This is one of the main things that I'm after because I need Slayer accessories. Hopefully I get enough to do, um, a full set of nine for Thor. <sighs> yes, give me that. Give me that Slayer gear. We don't. I don't care about epic books. I've got like over almost 300 of them. We'll take a Chaos Ore. We're not gonna take that. Give me purples. Okay, maybe I should have pinned. Maybe I should have. I should start pinning this. But here's the thing: as soon as I start pinning this, that's when the epics are gonna come, and then the streak is gonna reset. So I'm looking for okay. Titan points. Uh oh, running a little bit low there. No, no, no. I probably would have hit a streak already. No, come on, give me an epic. Give me an epic. And... Okay, so we got a natural... Three in a row for blues, so that's good. Give me purples. Okay, this is what we're... One, we got the pin in. Two, we have... Um, a Slayer helmet that we need, but we really need these accessories, specifically, like, the ring and the amulets. Now, we got some rings, we got some amulets, and we got the accessories here. So I think there is enough for a nine-piece nine piece Slayer set. But I need more, because I, I want to have options. And okay, okay. Fuck. Guys, stick with me. You already know how we do here. We're going to keep pulling. Come on, at this point, they're just points. I don't even care if I get anything, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm taking a break after this. I'm not doing any of it. I don't give a shit. I don't give a flying fuck if we have a um a super cool fusion or, or whatever like I'm, I'm taking a break i'm done i'm done for the rest of the year i'm checked all the way out bro i'm almost out of silver here almost out of silver here let me get uh that in and let's go ahead and flip some cards purple might as well take him we'll take the we'll take the werewolf all right hey diana she looks actually pretty cool she actually looks pretty cool. I'm thinking about plus fouring her, but I don't know. I don't know how good she is. I, I've I've heard some decent things about her, but nothing out of this world. But I don't know if like I have nothing else to do. Uh, one day, all these centurions that I've been waiting for, and now they now they show up. Ethlyn the Golden. All right. Hello, my 50th cold heart. Thank you for stopping by. Let's pull another set of 10 here. And okay, another 3,000. And there's our guaranteed were, were, uh, werewolf. And what do we get here? Another pain keeper. Branch arm lesire. The bellower. Relic glory tender. And again, this is not on a 2x, so don't do it. Scathix, I'm definitely going to plus four him eventually. Uh, he's a pretty decent epic, I think, especially for Centranos. So I'm, I'm happy to get more copies of him. Epic. Hammer points, we'll take it. There it is. Mythical shield, chest, mythical chaos or we'll take it. I do need that because I have a specific Slayer boot, I think. And it is, let me see right here. This one, I think. It was a flat HP with a triple roll on it. And I wanted to see if I could re-roll it. Please give me speed. Yes, bro! With triple attack, though? Yes! 
We'll fucking take it, dude. Woo! I was worried about that one. Hell yeah, bro. Give me speed on speed, though. I will, we're gonna rework you. We're going to rework you. Give me speed on speed. Deep, what? Come on. Speed on speed. Uh, attack. Hey, yep. Attack percent is okay. We'll take it. So that pinned actually came came clutch. All right, now we need some hammer points. If we could take some hammer points. Now I think I'd be pushing it. I think I'd be pushing it if I didn't take the the blue. So we're gonna pin this. I'm gonna keep it. All right, that's two. We'll take the co the coins. And come on, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give oh fuck. I knew it every single time. All right, it's fine. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, we did it and we got a 90. And another chaos war, we'll take it, bro. And more hammer points. Heck yeah, hammer time, dude. Yeah, I did. Honestly, at this point, we might as well just pull all my shards, right? At this point, we're just pulling everything. And we get a mythical gory. I was about to say Kinigashi. And I'll probably finish the deck of fates out by upgrading champions. Like it's, oh, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah, well, I'll tell you guys in a bit. All right, we have one more right here. Do I have? Okay, I got no. I got enough for two more right here. Pin it. We'll take it. We'll pin it. All right, we have a few more ancient shards. Gonna pull these. Again, not really expecting to get anything. We have five more. We're just taking the points. Really not great conversion rates for points, I think. Like, these are obviously one of the, the least um, favorable shards to be pulling for points. But, you know, we're, we're dumping everything. Might as well. I justify it. I need the Slayer gear. And I don't want to pay 20-something dollars for a Forge Pass. And it really sucks that it's locked behind either the Forge Pass or behind one of these Deck of Fates, which don't happen pretty often. These hardly ever happen. All right, so now where are we? We have enough for one more. And I think this is enough to go ahead and, and fill out the rest by upgrading champions. Level up a little bit here. I'll probably pop like three into there. We'll probably grab one person here and just max them out um, using chickens pump a little bit more there and what i like to do is because every time the uh points pop up it's usually an indicator to me that i'm getting points but once you've gained all the points that you can which is basically enough to complete the um the deck of fates you're going to stop getting points right so i'm just going to keep pulling until eventually we see there are no more points to be gained here we are, we're about to approach the very end here and you're going to see that points will stop showing up. Boom, right there, points stopped showing up. So now I know, hey, I have all the points that I need to get the last, see 5,000, the last few cards here. Hopefully we have an epic, there we go. Another Chaos Ore, we'll take it, mythical, and we get 300 um, gem maroonies right there. So I mean, might as well pin it, we'll take it, and that's the very last one, boom. So now I have 1295 hammer points. Do you guys still think that I'm in the running to get the five star for, for Thor? This got me paying a